Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, respected brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. And Juma today, Alhamdulillah, today is the 10th of March. And you know, I'm not sure when's the last time I made a general video, but I'm sure it was early in the year 2017. And subhanallah, ajib Allah shan, time is just flying by. And um, we've only got two and a half months till the month of Ramadan. It seems just like yesterday was Ramadan and it's already upon us again. May Allah Ta'ala give us all Ramadan, inshallah. I hope we all benefit from the, Allah give us Ramadan and I hope we can all benefit from the month of Ramadan as well, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I uh, just want to mention a few things. First of all, uh, the, the, like I started with the value of time. You know, time is going from our lives very, very quickly. Days and weeks and months are going. And I think it's important for us to realize that the moments and the seconds and the minutes which are ticking by in our life, we're never going to get those moments and, and those t that time again. What's gone is gone. And I think it's important that from now on we make an intention to spend each and every second, each and every minute in trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the most important thing. We don't want to have that regret on the day of Qiyamah that, Ya Allah, I didn't spend that second, that minute in ghaflat, in, in not remembering you, in, uh, away from you, Ya Allah. So, and the thing is that when we say in the remembrance of Allah, it doesn't, many people think that means maybe we have to sit in the masjid, maybe we have to be doing ibadah, maybe we have to do dhikr. No, it doesn't mean that. In whatever job we are doing, make sure we do it correctly, in the right way, pleasing Allah Ta'ala, following the ways of Rasulullah If you're a doctor, then do it with intention of serving the khidmah, the creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, for example, right? If, and with, with honesty as well, if you're a businessman, you do your business with honesty, that is also ibadah. You get, you get, you get reward for that. Saying the truth is also ibadah. Um, go, opening the shop, saying bismillah, entering the house, saying bismillah. These, all of these things equal up to, uh, equal, equals ibadah. Simple as that. Ibadah doesn't necessarily mean, you know, we, have, we wear a jabba, we wear a scarf, we have a beard, we enter the masjid, we go for tawaf, we go for hajj, we read the Quran. That's also ibadah. But that's, but... If we live our life according to the ways of Rasulullah Sallam, then our morning to evening is counted under ibadah in worshiping Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, brothers and sisters, I would encourage you that to spend as much time in pleasing Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And when we do make a mistake, and I was talking to my congregation, and I was talking to the students my this said the other night, and I was saying that at least before going to bed, do a bit of muhasaba, a bit of muraqaba, just a bit of meditation, and just think to yourself. How did I spend my day today? How did I spend it, my 24 hours today in pleasing my Creator or displeasing my Creator? And then after the muhasaba, for the mistakes we've made, then ask Allah for forgiveness. For the good we've done, thank Allah and ask, him, ask Allah to give us the energy and the tawfiq and the ability to keep on continuing with these good things which Allah has given us the tawfiq for. Because you know, as human beings, sometimes we're in a very good mood, we'll do a lot of ibadah. And sometimes when we're feeling down and things are not going things are not going for us, then we give up quite easily and we think, oh forget it, I don't want to do it today. No, it's about doing it every day, good day, bad day, happy day, sad day, whatever day it is, it's about consistency, it's about pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, respected brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah myself and my colleague uh, Malani Mjaz, um, Abdul Aziz Bay Moti, and we had brother Jamal from Albania, we went to South Africa and Zambia recently, mashallah. We went for nearly two weeks. It was a very fruitful trip, a very beneficial trip. We tried to create awareness of Rahman Mercy, Alhamdulillah. And we had programs in Joburg and Durban and in uh, Joburg, Durban, Cape Town and Zambia, Alhamdulillah. Many, many schools, many, many madrasas, many, many uh, few darulums and masajid as well. It was absolutely brilliant. The people of Africa, as you know, their hospitality is on another level, Alhamdulillah. But it wasn't, it wasn't just about the hospitality, it was the akhlaq. It was, it, it was their warmth, it was their character, and all of that, they also, mashallah, the support we got for Rahma was absolutely phenomenal, unbelievably amazing. So Allah Ta'ala give the people of Africa more and more barakah, more and more blessings, more and more happiness and joy, inshallah Ta'ala. Taking nothing away from the people of UK, because people of UK, I want to say one thing to you, and especially the people of Leicester, the last year, 2016, we started the appeal for the land which we which we purchased in Albania, Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah, with the blessings of Allah, people's generous, generous donations, we have purchased the land, 6,000 square meters, inshallah, in 2018, we want to start the work there, we're just going to collect some, try to collect some money, at least a million, it's a 3.5 million pound project, it's going to be a new school, inshallah, a girls Darul Ulum, inshallah, catering up to 100 girls in Darul Ulum, 600 students in the school, 
um, it's going to be something very very special inshallah a place where inshallah islam and deen will spread inshallah people can or not just about deen and islam but people can become doctors and scientists inshallah lawyers teachers whatever they want to be we're going to give them a platform an opportunity to get the best education inshallah so this the working the work's going to start in 2018 we're looking at a good two-year project, at least 2018, 2019. Allah willing, early 2020 or maybe late 2019, we want to open this um, new school, new academy, inshallah. So a lot of uh, requests for du'as. Allah give us ikhlas, Allah give us sincerity in what we're doing, inshallah. And brothers and sisters, um, lastly, we've got a trip coming up in, in March, inshallah. Myself and a few colleagues from Leicester are going. And we've got Mawlana Burhan from Australia, bringing some guests from Australia, inshallah. It's a three-day trip, three to four-day trip. Request for du'as, Allah Ta'ala make this trip a, trip a successful trip, a beneficial trip, inshaAllah Ta'ala. And this, it's been 18 years now, just this March now, as we're talking, it's March now. It's been 18 years for Rahma Mercy. If you had asked me 18 years ago, how long do you think you'd probably work for Rahma? And how long will it continue? I'd probably say maybe a couple of years, if that. But Allah Ta'ala has given it from strength to strength to strength. Each year gets better, each year gets bigger, each year... He just gets more and more, Allah is opening more and more doors and opportunities for Alhamdulillah for us, Rahma Mercy. How it's happened, first of all, it's the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the du'as of our parents, du'as of our teachers, du'as of the poor, du'as of the needy. Somebody's du'as along the, along the way is definitely helping us because within us, honestly, I speak for myself, there's nothing that I can say that is because of me that it's working. It's truly somebody's du'as, somebody's blessing, somebody's karma and father. So brothers and sisters, please continue making du'a for us. We hope, and in another 18 years time, we're still making hopefully another video and say it's been now 36 years, alhamdulillah. But brothers and sisters, we'd like to thank all of you for your support. Keep making du'a for us and make du'a for the whole ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We are kajasari wahid, we're like one body. We need to support each other, we need to help each other. Whatever help you can help, whatever help you can give the ummah, try to do as much as you can, inshallah. Allah Ta'ala reward you, Allah bless you with a wonderful Friday, a wonderful week, a wonderful month. And may Allah, when our time comes to meet our Allah, may Allah give all of us Husni Khatima wa Akhiru Da'wana. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alam.